Hey, what's up everyone? How are you guys all doing today? So today we are going to be going on the dog meat rescue mission. We're going to be calling this episode 39.5 of my let's play or 39 and a half. However you want to call it. Because this isn't really episode 40 because we're not doing anything in particular. This isn't a quest. We're not finding a unique weapon. We're just trying to find man's best friend. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been doing some bad things in the wasteland. Just ruthlessly killing and destroying families of many species of animals that barely thrive in the wasteland. And survival is a question each and every day, and I have just not been kind to that fact of life. So I want to start a new chapter of my life where I am nice to almost all species of the wasteland. Clearly, that does not include bloatflies. Or rad roaches. Sure as hell not rad scorpions. The owl guy can suck a dick. Death claws aren't really species, we're more so going to call them soulless demons that walk the earth and make everyone's lives terrible. Alright, fine. This is going to include very few species that I spare. It's mainly going to be uh, dog meat who we're about to find, and um, mole rats are cool. I like mole rats. If they had fur of some sort, they'd be real cute, I think. Although their little buck teeth kind of make them seem like the hillbillies of the wasteland. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, today we're going to be going to get dog meat. He's the dog companion in the game. If you played New Vegas, he's the equivalent of Rex, but you get him in a very different way. He's just cute as hell. Who doesn't want to pooch by their side while fighting raiders? Uh, now, last I checked, dog meat can die. Usually when I get dog meat, I, you know, hang out with him for a bit, and then he dies once or twice. And then, then I'm like, okay, shit. You just stay here in Megaton or uh, Rivet City for, like, the rest of the game, and I'll, I'll check up on you every now and then to make sure you're not causing a ruckus. Um, that, give me a sec, that looks like one of those enclave things, we'll see if some red dots start coming up, I got no ammo for this, yeah, I spy with my little eyes some enclave sons of bitches, now if you guys saw my last episode, and it wasn't really my last episode, it was like a little last Fallout 3 thing I did, I think I called it, um, what the fuck is this? Someone died? Oh, that's awesome. Girl, I'm taking- Wow! This was a great find. How the hell did you die? Am I going to be able to open up your... Um... Brahmin? Yes, I am! Do you guys see this shit right now? Holy fuck! I'm saving. New save. Let go. Alright. Well, that was fucking awesome. Anyway, so... <laughs> you might not be able to tell because I just got lucky as shit. But I bought a little bit of ammo. I got some ammo for the Zulong Assault Rifle. Over 100 rounds. I got quite a few stim packs. And by quite a few, I mean 22. So we'll be able to get Rex with little to no difficulty. Um, because I know in the past, as my phone buzzes, I don't think it's anything in particular. Oh no, my phone just ran out of battery. Awesome! <laughs> How convenient. Um, but you guys were like, alright, Walrus, you got a lot of dumb shit, you got like four hunting rifles, you've got no stim packs, no ammo, you're really being quite stupid, so I sold a lot of my excess guns, and ironically, I just picked up a lot of excess guns right now. Um... <laughs> right on cue and that wall just literally just appeared out of nowhere there was not a wall there 20 seconds ago i swear to god oh, whatever they're gonna be bad guys there just know it oh but yeah so you might be wondering well is that the end of your uh, oasis dilemma that was the last fallout 3 video i did before i got distracted really badly for like two minutes you said that you might redo the ending um on your own time to try to get the cool reward well, the people at Oasis did have some cool rewards for me. They gave me Linden's Outcast Power Armor. Ah, yay. Sucks because I don't have Power Armor training. Oh, it's pretty cool. And the, more importantly, the Poplar's Hood. Fucking awesome for sneaking around and whatnot. Combine it with the Chinese Stealth Armor. You're going to be goddamn invisible. I mean, literally because of the Stealth Armor, armor but also because you're going to be sneaky as shit. 
Now, let's just say, because, you know, I don't like to um, take gifts without giving something of my own. Let's just say I gave those little goons or lunatics, whatever you want to call them, over to Oasis a, a little gift of my own, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But anyway, let's try to just try to brush past here. Actually, now fuck that. I see a bad guy. I see, I see a bad guy. Oh, are we taking fire already? Maybe. I don't see anyone. Oh, now I do. Oh, you're doing some sides sidestep maneuver. All right. This isn't good. I can't fight you when you got the high ground. You've made a great effort to make it difficult for me to shoot you, and I don't really appreciate it, to be honest. Now, this is the kind of shit I live for. As I'm crippled and, like, half dead. Um, that raider practically killed himself right there. I'm not sure how that worked out. Okay. May want to start using some stim packs before this goon with the. Oh shit, that would be a grenade. What the fuck? Alright. They're blowing each other up. It's like they don't even know what they're doing. Oh, is that the person with the. What, can I not shoot the person over there? Alright. Wow, there are a lot of raiders here. Okay. Ah, taking suppressive fire. All right, you're dead, like now. Oh, thank God. Well, there goes um the condition on my Zulong assault rifle. All the ammo I got for it. Oh, explosion. Yeah, <laughs> that was effective in wasting all of the ammo I just got. Probably not going to be able to pick up all their guns for repair. But I'll be able to get some of it at least. Alright. Now that I think we're done being distracted. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, apparently this is a raider. Cool. Anyway, back to getting dog meat. So dog meat is going to be in a place called Scrapyard. Uh, I am going to heal myself real quick gonna be around here it is directly like right west of Wheaton Armory so now I don't know how far it is in that direction we could be walking for two minutes we could be walking for a couple months and make a pilgrimage I really don't know what it is all I know is we're freeing that goddamn dog from those raiders who were trying to kill him god damn it is gonna be glorious Overall, this has been a good video. You know, I showed you guys that I got a reward. And then I showed you that I gave them a little uh, thank you note of my own over at Oasis. I fucking looted a caravan trader for free. That took no effort whatsoever. That was amazing. You know, overall, good day. And then I just, just whooped some raider ass. Like it's just a normal... Sunday afternoon. Okay, so... Dog meat. We're uh, on our way. Is this scrapyard? It might be. Some buildings and shit are just gonna pop up out of nowhere. As you can see, like, buildings are just... appearing as you get closer. This has gotta be scrapyard. I'm like 80% sure. Yes! Dog meat, babe! I'm finding you! You don't hear me? It's my dog meat mating call, in case you didn't pick up on that. Yo, where is he? Where's the pooch? I swear to God, he's supposed to be here. This isn't a random encounter. This is a very set up encounter.
Dog meat! Where are you? Those raiders strapped me with explosives. You've got to help me. Well, this isn't dog meat. I mean, if they explode, I die. If I attempt to disarm and they explode, I still die. Hmm. Oh, I did my best. I figured if I didn't help them, they'd just, like, attack me and then blow up. And we both die. So, that wasn't so much that I was trying to be a good person. It was that if I didn't do it, it would be my own downfall. Uh, this isn't cool. That, you know, dog meat isn't here. So, we're gonna move away. That, I believe, is minefield. So, maybe we'll just discover minefield... Come back. Maybe dog meat will feel like showing up. That would be nice. That would just be great. Let's discover minefield. Because I think this is minefield. If this isn't minefield, then I have completely lost my memory. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Alright. Now that we got that, I'm actually just going to save. Now do a little saving. We'll save. We'll do one more new save. Because if this whole thing fucks up, I'd like to have that other save before. You know, in case I need to completely redo this video because... I don't know, aliens abduct my footage, like what happened with my new Vegas Let's Play, the hardcore one. And you guys, at this point of me making this video, haven't figured it, or haven't heard yet of that. I'm um, essentially, well, y you'll find out. I don't, it's not great news. That's all I have to say. Um, it was beyond my power. Whatever. Enough bad news. It's not the end, the Let's Play's still going on, don't worry. Um, alright. Fucking dog- Oh, this is it. This is it. Arf! Dog meat! Woof! Woof! What the fuck? Time out. Time out. No. So, what doesn't look right? Is it A, the floating flesh and body? B, the, um, the rock in the background that looks slightly crooked? Or C, the fact that this guy is wearing antlers of some sort. Which one is the most weird? I personally think the antlers. Um, the rock in the background, I was just struggling to think of a bee, but what the fuck is going on to the left here? What is that? Is that his esophagus just floating in the... I hope that floats back to the ground, because this is fucked up. Um, that's a missile launcher. I should do something about that. But I think the rock is in the way, so... It'll have to wait. <laughs> oh, cool. I am practically dead. Oh, no, I'm not. That's awesome. Alright. Um, this actually worked out quite good. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm actually gonna beat you with my bare hands. Get back here, boy. I said, get- the hell with this? Oh. I'm gonna go Kimbo Slice on your ass. Alright. Resistance is futile. Get back here. Seriously, though. Oh, he ran into a corner. Idiot. No! Okay, fuck it. I'm shooting him. Hey, it's dog me. There we go. Oh, no! No, leave him alone! It's my boy! Why can't I shoot at this raider between them? Oh, because it, because they're dead. That's why. Wow, Silence Pistol is going to town. We are gonna quickly. I don't know why my energy weapons are so high. I sold my laser rifle between last video and this one, just so you know. Absolutely doing that. That always helps. Speech could go up a little. Sneak could always do more. Loving that. Fuck science. Repair is good. Awesome. And, wow, we've got some options. Silent running, I don't care too much. 
No. 20 health. You know what? I could use that. I like that one. Awesome shit. Dog meat boy. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're not even looking at me. What's wrong, boy? Can't even look at your your best friend in the face. Arf. Yeah. You're pretty friendly. Want a treat? Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't have treats. I have I've got lots of drugs though, if you're into that shit. Oh, dog me. Now will you look me in the face? There we go. Oh my god. Dog meat's the best. I'm gonna just give you the quick rundown on why dog meat's fucking awesome. He can find shit for you. If you tell him, find some ammo, find some meds, find some whatever the fuck. Let's just try that out right now before I uh, call this a day. Dog meat. Uh, find some ammo. So he's gonna go run off and he's gonna find some ammo. Now he did it. Because clearly there was a dead body with ammo right there. But. Normally, like, if you need to find something and you're a lazy fuck like me. He's, he's pretty awesome in doing that. And yes, I know I didn't pick up that assault rifle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't see the little tidbit at the beginning, I will be doing a live stream later today, Sunday. Uh, it'll be Fallout 3 live stream. It'll be at like 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, if it goes well, and if this video goes well, I will do more live streams in the future for sure. So be sure to like this video, and I will see you in episode 40 of this, or whatever video of mine you watch next. Lego, dog meat, and goodbye.